Golden State's season ending much earlier than they're used to. Clay Thompson did not deliver his half of the Splash Brothers. Uh, zero points, four rebounds, one assist. We need Clay back. I mean, he's, um, you know, his, uh, I know he had a tough night tonight, but what he represents for us, he's still got good, good years left. I don't think there's any scenario where Clay leaves and that's the best decision for this team and organization. I have no reason to think that our ownership group aren't going to take care of us the way we've taken care of this organization. He's going to make less money, but he ain't going to get no better. He, older people don't get, but sports ain't for old people, they're for young people. That's no disrespect. <laughs> Clay's a Hall of Famer, but he, he's lowered his number, but he ain't, you know, just because he lowered his number don't mean he's going to play better as he ages. All right. Uh, Stephen A., let me ask you this. Do you think the Warriors should bring Clay back? It depends on the price. Um, to be quite honest with you, I think that at this stage and point in Clay Thompson's career, I think he would be big time valuable to a championship team. Could you imagine LeBron James having Clay Thompson to kick the ball out to on the wing? Could you imagine the New York Knicks with Brunson and those boys? having Klay Thompson to kick the ball out to. If you're Clay and you're listening, this is not an indictment against Klay Thompson. He's a four-time champion. He's one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. He's a surefire first ballot future Hall of Famer. Mad love and respect to him for what he has meant to the Warriors organization. But as constructed, in order to get better, they might have to utilize his services for a sign and trade. They might have to sit up there and let him move on so you can clear space to get somebody else. But not only that, to, to utilize the younger assets more excessively. All of those things come into play. But that don't mean that the swan song is being written by Klay Thompson. I disagree with Charles Barkley on that. Klay Thompson could end up playing better next year than he did this year. He's a shooter. Now, if your success is predicated on athleticism, Charles Barkley would have a point. But with Klay Thompson, it's about that stroke. Now, obviously, shaking off defenders is not something that he can do. But this brother has launched contested three-point shots throughout his career, and they've hit nothing but the bottom of the net. He's one of the elite shooters this game has ever seen. I believe there's a shot that he could find his stroke to a degree that's better productively than it was this year. So I don't view him that way. I'm simply saying that as the Warriors are constructed in light of, of, of the uh, an ordinate amount of needs they may have, they may have to go in a different direction. And by the way, let me say this. And, and, you know, I love me some Draymond Green. By the way, they went from 24th in defensive deficiency when he was suspended to 7th when he was on the court. They were 28 and 15, if I remember correctly, with him on the court, which was the fifth best record in the NBA since he's been on it. That's how valuable Draymond Green is. But the players have to stop doing this. Oh, what he's meant to the organization and what this person has meant to the organization. Wait a minute. You weren't playing for free. You were playing to produce. The Golden State Warriors, they didn't, you know, you didn't play for them out of the kindness of your heart and they owe you. And or or you were grotesquely underpaid. Steph Curry getting paid. Draymond Green got paid. Uh, 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 you know, uh, Clay Thompson got paid. Now, granted, it's great that you won and you should be revered into Golden State lore. We get that. But in the end, let's stop acting like if you dissipate in any way, if you fade and there are better options that you're owed the opportunity to stay. No, you're not. If you were paid and paid handsomely and you produced, you should be respected, even revered to some degree. But that doesn't mean that you get to wear that uniform into perpetuity if indeed they believe they're better off moving in a different direction. They don't owe Clay that. They owe Clay respect and reverence. They don't owe him keeping him on the roster if they can get better without him. I'm not saying they can, but if there's the possibility to do that, you don't owe him to keep him. Timmy, go ahead. Yeah, look, I, Stephen, I completely agree with you in this regard. What you're talking about is you can't stay competitive as an organization if you're going to hand out career achievement awards financially. Right? You can't yeah. do it. Not, not if you want to stay competitive and you have a superstar that still is on that level, which I think Curry is. I haven't seen a dramatic line in Steph Curry's game. When the parts around him aren't as good, he looks vulnerable like he did last night because he's got to carry too much of the load on the ball. That was obviously exposed last night. 
But if you're Clay Thompson, look, I I'll say this. You bring Clay Thompson back and you say, if the number's right, Stephen A., I don't think there's any choice. The number has to be right. It has to be palatable to the Warriors for Clay Thompson to come back. I agree with you. I can list three or four more other teams. Imagine Clay Thompson in Philly. Imagine Clay Thompson in Dallas. Some of these teams that are close, where he could be the third or fourth best player and pick and choose his nights when they really need him to be and space the floor. There's a lot of opportunities out there. I think Clay wants to stay in Golden State, finish his career as a Warrior, stay next to Steph Curry the rest of his career. He understands he's going to have to take a dramatic pay cut. And I'll say this, he still has nights. And this wasn't a disastrous year for Clay Thompson. Now, last night all. was. That's a bad visual last night. He has, still has enough nights in the regular season. He is still a guy that has to be honored. He can have nights where he can get hot, where you can carry him and ride him a little bit for a quarter, where he gives you that kind of offensive splurge that you need alongside Steph Curry. It's just not consistent. And it's more exposed when a guy like Wiggins hasn't been able to recapture who he was the year they won the championship. Chris That's Paul the real really culprit. didn't give him much offensively. The younger guys, they're, you know, they're up and coming, but these guys aren't guys that can go get their own shot with the basketball and create offense. So when all of those things add up, that's when Klay Thompson, he looks more vulnerable on the bad nights. He is still a serviceable player on a good team at the right number, which I think has to happen for both sides. And I think Klay Thompson ultimately wants to stay there. I don't think he wants to wear another uniform. He wants his legacy to be, I did it all with this core group of guys. I want to ride this out and stay with them. And he understands to do that. You're going to have to take less money. 100%. I like what you said before then. All organizations and all sports, when they've won championships and the players get older, they have a very tough call to Do make. I sit there and I discard all these players who helped us to this glory and rebuild to move the rebuilding process up a couple of years? Or do I play it out, be an eighth seed, maybe squeeze out a playoff win with older players? So you want to be lethal? You want to be cold-hearted about it if you're the Warriors? Hey, Clay, go. You know what? You thanks. We'll give you a ring ceremony one day. We'll put your banner up there, but get out. We're going to save the money and bring somebody else in who's a little younger. So it's a very tricky, and then the fans get mad at you for discarding it. Green says what he says. Curry gets upset, and then you got a fragmented situation. So it's a very, very tricky call for an organization to part ways with an older Hall of Famer who obviously helped you win. You know what, Whitey Herzog, who just passed away, the Cardinal manager used to say? You know what the hardest thing to do as a manager is manage a Hall of Famer on his way out. And I think you can say the same thing about an organization. He's an all-timer. He's a Hall of Famer. He's not what he used to be. And if you bring him back, there's only a ceiling of what you can do for a franchise right. that's won but championships. I, he but it is, it, 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 perfectly. Is, it is important to point this out, Doggy. Even though last night was god-awful for Klay Thompson, he did finish the regular season strong. They were 10-2. and two. During that span... He averaged 21.8 points, 49% shooting from the field, 41% shooting from three-point range. And this season, despite his inconsistencies, he finished fourth in the NBA in three-point shooting at 39, and shot 39% from three-point range. What we're saying is this, that we're not accustomed to seeing Klay Thompson struggle like that. But his struggling is better than 90% of the league who are assigned to go out there and shoot the damn basketball. He's that lethal. We got to remember that. And so, again, it's not a matter of, oh, my goodness, he's done. Let's, you know, like Barkley is like, you know, he's not going to get better. Well, damn, you know what? He didn't look bad. And you can look better if your shot's falling. And he's a shooter. So there is that possibility. The issue in question, however, is – the parts that you have around them, if you don't have the right parts around them, I'm like, at some point, you got to use somebody to grab additional assets, and it ain't going to be Steph Curry. So who's the bait that you use to ultimately throw something out there and reel something back in of even higher value? That's the question, and that's the, that's the, that's the dilemma that the Golden State Warriors are going to have to face.